Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading in the colony section yet again for another cursor map. That's right, this time it's a little bit of a puzzly map and it's from Tricky Corp. It's officially Tricky approved, I hope, uh, because Tricky did comment that it was not necessarily approved last time. It's just a relaxing cursor map. It hasn't been a while. It has been a while, hasn't it? It's time to remember the good old days where I would make a lot of cursor maps in joy. So we're starting in the big cauldron and yeah, we get to do things. Things. Moo, there's our big cauldron. A reminder how cursor maps work. We know how they work. We move our cursor, anti creep spreads. Um, we're starting in the center. And creator's notes, um, rather than making an extremely complicated map, I made you people one of these good old single cursor ones. No tricks other than things that come with this game mode. Doesn't mean it'll It'll be easy though. While I could list the intended solution, I believe there's still some room to swap the order of some parts. Let's see if you can beat my uh, my time by pure strategy. I don't know what your time is. Um, or maybe you just want to relax and watch everything unfold. You get a time of 2 hours, 57 minutes, and 3 seconds. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So, apparently in 2 hours, 57 minutes, and 3 seconds, things unfold? Interesting. I don't think we're going to go that far. I don't think so. Not going to say you have to play seriously, both because people wouldn't listen, because I believe anyone should be allowed to play however they want, as long as it doesn't involve cheating. So, we shall not cheat. Um... Holy moly, there's a lot. I kind of wish there was a X slash 10 rating system. Oh, an X out of 10 rating system, aside from the upvote system. Or when you see the upvote to down uh, download ratio. I can't tell uh, which type of cursor map we like the most. So, also, for people in the comments below, please leave comments on what types of cursor maps you like, what types of maps you like, and things like that. Uh, Tricky does read them as well. So, this would actually be very helpful. So, I mean, please help out the map creators. Um... So, and then this is going into like CPAC and how to do it and things like that. So let's go. Tech stuff, don't read unless we really need it. We don't need it. I'm assuming there might be some tricks in there. So this is the map and this is, uh, we have we have a lot to digest, right? This is sort of a choose your path, choose your destiny, if you will. And we are going to choose that because our cursor gets stronger the more we take. So we definitely want to be taking things, but also, you know, we have some ins and outs, right? So step number one, we want to take our home island, right? Maybe not all of it, but some of it. Also, just for the sake of things, we are going to turn on our lovely beam of light. Mwah, map indicator. Let's get going, though. Uh, let's take our home island, and we will go from there. So we're going to start with this bottom corner over here. So let's start the breeding. Now, they are breeding right away. Our cursor should gain some more power, hopefully. There we go. We're actually on the move, and we have we have to we have to survive the wave oh no the wave comes the wave comes for me but i think we made it through okay good, 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 good. let's get out of there let's get our corner because we need this corner to be ours beautiful uh before the next breeding cycle right let's see if we can get this other one i don't know if we will it's gonna breed in like two seconds come on oh no we just missed it just missed it okay so already off to a terrible start we should just restart quit the game oh my gosh how dare i but we're just it's it's a relaxing cursor map. we're here to have fun i'm not taking it that seriously but yes we probably could have gotten that had we really tried so there we go we have done it and now i'm not actually gonna take the entirety of home base island i'm gonna let our you know, our base emitter and the other one work on the other corners. Well, we come down here because it looks like we could just take some free land, right? If we can just get some AC up into these tippy tops over here, uh, like up here, like so, like so, we should be able to probably breed this up. Very, very nice. And I think just that breeding and the other side breeding should be able to well, take this area, which is just free power. Yet again, free power is the goodest of power. And we got both sides before the breeding happened. So I think, I think we just got it. I think we just got it. We're going to let that sim simmer, simmer for a little bit. We'll take this and then we'll come into this corner and finish off home base Island. Oh baby. Finish it off. As you can see below, like just those breeding is taking that area. It's getting us power, and that's what I want to see. I want to see my power rise. And that's it. That's it. So let's move on up. We're moving to the north. This is the next hot area. So we want to take the center because that is a AC only breeder that I think we can hold. But of course, we need to actually make landfall, right? We're, we're, it's a little bit rough. It's a little bit tight. But, you know, sometimes some tight spaces are pretty good. You know, it's, it's good to be in some tight spaces. And, and I think we managed. I think we managed. We're making our way through. And I think we're going to get this 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, once it starts breeding, we just have, we just have some not control of the area, but we have some growth on our side. Again, more power for us. So I'm gonna do a little pause right here. So we have this. I'm gonna take this island next, right? So we're taking this island next. We have four choices to go for. Now, both the top ones they seem easier because these are a little bit more receded. However, this does have the breeder absorber. So I'm gonna try and take the bottom ones first. Try and get like this area squared away and then let the absorber absorb the creep not the ac right so we want to take the bottom side first at least that's that's the way that i feel maybe that's not the right decision i don't know but that is where my mind goes it says hey i don't i don't want that absorber against working against me i want it working against them um so we are going to try and get to this breeding zone by hugging the wall it's always better to hug the wall than it is to go into the open terrain and get surrounded so we're making our way there. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make it before it breeds. So I'm just going to sort of get into this little side corner and just hold out, right? Well, I'm just going to try and hold out in this corner right here while it breeds right now. So it's breeding. We're sort of fighting it in quotes. Um, the center is holding itself, which is perfect. And now it looks like the breeding is over. We survived the wave. And let's now just take our first point of power in this area. Now, we just want to hold it. We don't care about anything else. As long as we hold it, we can sort of do some work from there. So we just want to hold this, get for the breeding cycle. We should be able to take this entire corner, I hope, once we do. It's breeding now. And as you can see, see the area behind us is taken. We're now able to start pushing forward. It's nice. It's not perfect. We still need a, probably another breeding cycle to, to be much more confident. But we can also start taking some of this. Cutting that off, which is nice, because we're going to go to the left next. You know, we're going to go to the left side. Uh, because, again, the top side is losing some creep to Absorber. And as you can see, this area is actually pushing out a little bit more as well in the middle. So the middle is actually doing some work for us. And we, we were able to, to hold it, right? They are breeding right now. So, again, we do have to be careful, you know. We don't want our cursor to get taken over by creep and then not be producing. Again, we want A, B, P. Always be producing. Um, but thankfully, this time, I think we're going to get here with enough time. Again, our cursor is increasing in power as well. I think we might be able to get this. I think we did. Oh, look at that. So now we can hold this. Get another side to our name. Beautiful. Just hold it. Let it breed. Let it do its thing. And then we can just clean it up. And we can start moving to the top, right? Gorgeous. 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 As you can see, we've, we've really just taken this area no problemo whatsoever and yeah i'm a fan of that i am quite the fan of that so now we can just move our way up unfortunately ooh, maybe 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 for just a few seconds oh we got it oh my that's just that's just a relief um we probably can just let the ac take this out i'm not 100 percent sure i mean with the absorber in the back probably but i mean all we had to do was that and the rest will fall so now we're heading to our next destination so let, let's just take a look at the map it, our next destination is here by the way <laughs> just so you know um we can see we can probably fight this now again we've gained more power over here we can probably take this again hug the corner get to the back take the back wall and then it will just kill itself but it is pretty deep it's you know this is about a 10 on this creeper scale so is pretty deep if you ask me um over here there is it, it's like deep but at the same time the actual breeding ground is the very tippy top here which doesn't have that much creeper on it so we could sort of take the breeding ground pretty well if you ask me so that and, and the height down here is about nine so we could go up against they're about they're actually the same they're they're about the same so i guess it doesn't really matter taking this might make this easier although it is a, a much thicker nine although we do have to pass the uh breeder terrain so i'm not sure actually which one is better um but we're going this way so <laughs> that's the answer uh so let's just slowly make our way over uh we want to get over get it going um and then our key will be sort of a an assault offensive okay it's going to be a very our goal is to move quickly on this one um, that is going to be the goal. Now, unfortunately, they are breeding. Uh, we're, we're basically stuck right here. So that's, I guess, the problem with this one is the fact that we get completely, completely shut down and stuck. We do need to make landfall, official landfall. Uh, we can even zoom in. Come on, come on, come on. Get us over there. Get us in. Ooh, do we not have enough power? Do we need to go to the south? 
Come on, get me in there. Really shocked. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Let's see, the little AC that could. Um, I know we're still breeding because the AC is still forming behind us. So let's just take a look. See, ah, uh, see, we're like right there. We just need to make that little bit of landfall right here. Get off of this absorber terrain because that's what's killing us right now. It's the absorber terrain that we're like on. We just need to push in just that ah, ooh, just that little little bit. Oh, that's all we need. Just get us in there. Okay, okay, this is feeling better. We're feeling better. We're getting, we're making landfall because once we get to the actual breeder terrain. We are golden, and they just finished breeding, which is good, so we should be able to start moving just about now. Uh, just move that tiny, tiny bit. Come on, you can do it. Just a teeny, 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 tiny bit. Mmm. Not doing it. Still in it. Get up to the top. Oh, we did it. We made it. Woo! <laughs> okay, so now we're up top. We survived, we made it through a breeding cycle, and you can see we're actually spreading, right? Because again, there isn't that much AC on top, so now our goal is for the next breeding cycle to hold the top. Now, it's not easy. As you can see, they are taking it back, but we are holding more and more area uh, as we move, because again, there isn't that much creep up here. So the more that we hold, the more that we can take, the more that we take, the more that we'll breed, blah, 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 that whole, that whole type of thing. Um, and as you can see, we are holding the back now. So the more backsides that we hold with the top, the less likely they are to take it back. So it's, it's just a very back and forth cycle with this, right? We are, they're taking some, they're taking some ground back. We're then taking some, they're taking some ground back. It's a little back and forth. But I think we can get there. I think we can get there. Now, unfortunately, ooh, that's the problem. The problem is when all of the creep uh, leaves the top, that is a problem zone for us, right? Because then when we breed, we're having, we're actually having a problem. So now I'm going to try and hold this set. So I'm going to actually breed on the inside a little bit, breed on the outside. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We can take that as well. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. No, 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 you don't come here. We want as much of this tippy top for bree. Oh no, they took it all. <laughs> There's so much that was taken from me. Oh geez, uh, that's okay. We we still have a good portion. It's it's a back and forth game that I am that I lost a little bit there. I I did lose quite a bit. We do again. We want to hold. Uh, we want to keep them down. And again, I think we are we are winning. This is definitely an attrition battle. Um, so now it's hold the tippy top. As you can see, the tippy top is actually completely dry right now in some areas, which is both good and bad. It's good because be it being dry is, uh, you know, it's not breeding creep. But as you can see, we did win this in the end. Uh, there is very little creep left. They are, I mean, but the problem is the top is dry, right? With the top being dry, we need to actually make sure it's going to be breeding for us because we want it to, to clear out the rest of this creep, right? So as, as much as possible, we should be good with this next breeding cycle. Because there's no breeding down below. There we go. We're breeding and we took it out. Perfecto. And now let's go back down here and actually take this again with more power because this was just the thick creep so let's come on down we're gonna just go in the side uh and as you can see with our current power we're actually able to decimate this now uh, i think uh, we i don't think we would have decimated this without the what we just took so we're actually able to take large swaths of this and actually just start making our way across the back i don't really care about that side area they can take it back they can surround me i don't care all i want is as much of this back line as possible because this is the breeding area right the more breeding area we have the less they do the better it is we are i mean we're actually taking it as it's breeding because i believe this can only breed to a certain height so yeah we literally just decimated this one easily but again we had the extra power from the other zone so very good for us the only other thing i want to do is make sure every time every like 30 seconds or so i just want to put like a little drop of ac at the top just so that breeds because as you can see the ac isn't staying up top uh and i want this to breed because i want that to just stay acified so where are we going next 
next. So this area, not very difficult, right? I mean, there is, there, that is breeding, that is breeding, that's contained because of that. But this area, eh, probably pretty, pretty free, so to speak. So I think that is the next area we are going to go to. So this is next on the quote unquote hit list, as it were. Um, and again, I just want to make sure there's AC at the top of the previous area. Every breeding cycle, it is, it is. But you can see it's only breeding from there. It's not that much. But you know, anything is better than nothing. I'll take whatever we get from that. I'm very happy. As long as for the next breeding cycle, we can put a little bit more up top. I'm very, very happy. And yeah, I mean, as you can see, we were able to take this easily. Uh, but, you know, the actual... Uh, zones, the breeder zones, the split breeder zones, if you will, might not be the easiest. Um, so I'm just going to go bloop bloop right off. Just make sure, again, just a little bit on top, just to keep that breeding. It'll get to the point where it's breeding naturally the entire time. Uh, and that's all that matters, right? Because I, I just, I, it's just free power, right? I don't want it to be not free power. I want it to be free power. So again, we're going to move up the edge, right along the edge, move it on up. Don't care about nothing else, uh, and we're doing okay. Uh, I want to make sure there's AC at the top over there, but I want to make sure we have this even more. And we do! And AC up top, AC up top, spread it around, spread it around. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So now we can work on our final little bit over here of this island. Uh, and this will be another island down. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, yeah, definitely a fan. Definitely a fan. Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. Oh no, this this area might be a little tough. This might be a little tough. Uh, ooh, maybe not, maybe not. Ooh, we got some. Oh, we didn't get it all, but we got some for the breeding cycle, which is good. That's good. We took some of their power away from them, which means we took all of their power. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so let us now see. Is this going to breed? See, it's still not breeding naturally. As you can see, that pool is not completely full. So that still has some work to go. Now this, look at how... This is super high. Not going to bother. Super high. Lots of breeder. Not going to bother. We're not going to bother with this entire side. This side, you're dead to me. We're going over here now. This is now the side of champions and kings. Yes, yes, yes. We are going to be taking this zone and this zone... And then, finally, this zone. So we have three zones to go. Uh, again, I want to keep some AC up on the tops of this, just so that fills up the, the basin completely and, you know, lets it keep breeding and all that good stuff. But we're going to move down. We're going to take out these zones. And we're going for the northern one, the northern little first sliver, because that's a split breeder, right? I would rather have a split breeder than a creeper breeder. Uh... I mean, I think that's pretty natural, right? I'd rather have something that's going to breed for me than not. So, love it, love it, love it. Um, our pool might be big enough, also, on the right side, that it might be able to handle itself. So that's actually quite nice to see. But let us, again, just move on up, move on over, and see if we can take this out before the breeding cycle in just a few seconds. Which we did? It's breeding now. I think we got it. That's enough. You know, we got most of it. We're pushing the rest out. Glorious. We have done it. We have done it. And as you can see, the pool over here did breed itself. So perfect. That's in, that's its, in, in, in its own breeding cycle, which is great to see. Uh, and now we're going to go to the bottom, right? So the reason I'm going to the bottom versus the top is this is two split breeders uh, and two creeper breeders. Where this is two split breeders and two anti-creeper breeders. So as... Just like this, I'd rather have the AC, uh, the split breeder versus the creeper breeder. I'd rather have the AC breeders versus the non. So we're doing a little dancing, a little back and forth. Uh, and then once we take the middle zone, we're just going to take the final zone and then do both zones at the top. Um, we can also take the start of the next zone because the start of the next zone is an AC breeder. That is viable to do. Uh, maybe we'll do that verse before we go over. Um... But for now, our first goal is just to take this, right? Our first goal is to take first zone. We definitely want the first zone, which means we need this breeder. We have, we have a few seconds. I think we'll get it just fine. Glorious. Yeah, no breeding for you, sir. No, no, no. Nay, nay, I say, say. And yeah, that is uh, the first of many zones. Um, or many pods, many crevasses. 
many ditches, many divots, uh, so many words that could be said. Um, but yeah, we, we have taken it. And we've taken the entire first area. That's the key. You took the entire first area. Moving on to the second. Again, we're going to hug the wall all the way down. We're going all the way to the corner. Because again, we, we want an area where we can control. We want an area we can contain. We want an area, maybe we even take a little bit of this because it's breeding right now, right? That'll, that'll give us a little bit of breeding. But the real key is we want to get to this corner because corners are the safest spot we can be in, right? So if we take this corner and then take this breeder, this breeder is infinitely more safe than anything else. It's not going to be surrounded by creep to take it back. It's going to be pushing out in the directions that we want to go. And then we can work our way back up to this AC breeder. So it should be breeding right about now to save itself. Perfect. With this breeding and us taking this out, we should have a pretty good established area. Right, so we're establishing our safety net, we're establishing our area, we're working out slowly. Again, we lost the AC area again, that's okay. The key is that we're holding that split breeder area, and we're actually, you know, again, putting more pressure elsewhere. We're cutting out the creep that's behind us, which is very important. Uh, we're breeding right now, and look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. It clears everything up, pushes it out, and that should be our first very good safety net right that that breed right there was our super strong safety net because look at this push that we're able to do right we're still holding on to that top bit we're pushing this bottom we're able to take this oh mama we can oh we can even go straight for this i don't know if we're gonna get the whole thing we got half and we even pushed them out. We even pushed them out. They got nothing on us. Easy days. And that's just going to lead us to the end, right? This is now the final zone of this uh, quadrant. You know, this is area. Uh, and I'm just, I'm just going to go straight for it. I'm, I'm not going to mess around. I'll be, I'm fine being surrounded on all sides. I'm going to leave my cursor right in the center and let the AC sort of expand from it and just push it out. So even if it breeds, which it will is right now, it's, as you can see, it is closing in, but it can't quite seal the deal. I hope. <laughs> okay. It can't quite seal the deal. Whew. That was a close one. That was a close one. Oh, there we go. But our cursor is now active inside. Uh, we are taking out more and more of the creep. We've pushed them out pretty well. As you can see, we've, we actually killed a lot of creep by staying in the center there. And look at this. I mean, we're able to just really just contain it. Uh, that basically did... Uh, exactly what I wanted it to do. Surprise, surprise, surprise. It worked out just like I wanted it to. Yay. Oh my, oh my. And that's the next, uh, next area. So I do want to go to the top, but again, I did mention this. This is maybe a decent idea. This may be a terrible idea. I don't know, but you know what? I said it. I'm going to do it just because we're already down here. Might as well, right? I mean, there's some AC breeder right here. We can easily hold that, right? And this is essentially a corner. So again, we have a corner with some AC breeder. Might as well do it. Um, I don't think we're going to go all the way to the center. We might take this and this split breeder right here and call it there, right? Just have this be sort of manageable. Hopefully. I don't know if it'll last. I don't know if it'll stick. But if it does work, hey, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. I'll be, I would be happy to have this pushing while we push the other side as well. So the more the merrier, if you ask me. So let's grab this. We'll grab this. This area is not that dense. It's not that thick. So really, it's not too bad to take. Uh, as you can see, we're really just carving it up straight away. So I think that's our goal right here. And realistically, maybe push it out a little bit. Hold it for the next breeding cycle. And then hopefully this will sort of just maintain itself. So this is good. It's going to breed right now. And let's be on the move, right? We are now breeding again much like before we're going to try and take the top side now unfortunately we don't have a breeder on our side this time but we have more power and power is always a very good thing so our goal is to take this take the corner just have a nice defensive area uh, we will want the split breeders of course but for now we're just trying to get a safe area where we can sort of defend ourselves right we can uh push back and defend right so we want to hold this push it back Whole, cut off this entire top side 
because again, I don't want anything coming from behind. You can see that hitting that back wall and it actually does come in and that's the problem. So we wanna protect the back. Um, you know, I like to come in the back door. I don't like it when thousand other things do without me giving permission. You know, that's all I'm saying. But you gotta ask for permission. Um, and yeah, I think, I think we established that. We can start to move to our first split breeder, hopefully get that for the breeding cycle, which would be perfect and hold this for this cycle. And yeah, I mean, that's not too bad, right? We're, we're able to hold this entire top side. We now have one of them breeding for us, which is great. And now we can start to just push in, expand this, uh, expand this area. I mean, just, just expand it. I mean, we're, we're just good. This area going down, not so bad. Uh, that area is holding. That area down there is holding. Glorious. Awesome. Wonderful. That's what you want to hear. Uh, or see, I guess. That's what we want to see. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, we've taken this little zone. Very fantastic. Uh, again, I do know Tricky did say something about like two hours and 57 minutes. I don't think it's going to take us that long. It might. It might. Uh, and it's, it's, it's quite possible. Um, but I, I'm going to pass on. Um, I would go straight to the center here. Unfortunately, I did come in at an awkward time. It's about to breed, so I'm just going to try and hold this bottom bit uh, because it is about to breed, right? So I'm just going to use this as a corner, even though it has a wall next to it. And I don't like using walls because, you know, our our cursor is way too strong for walls to be the same as, like, a, the edge of the map. Plus, this is a much bigger creeper breeder zone. So we, we actually need to take out quite a bit of creep for this to be, you know, taken care of, if you will. So I'm just going to keep working at it. And this is just one that we just have to work at, right? I mean, it's not one that we're going to get very easily. It might even be better to take that bottom zone first, because this is, this is pretty potent. Uh, as you can see, it is pushing back rather hard. Um, and actually, what we should do is probably take a nice larger area, like up here and use that to start pushing, right? Again, have a safe zone with area behind us that is safe. And yeah, we can actually see just by doing that, we're actually, we have a much, much, much better setup, right? We've taken about half of it. They are breeding and pushing against us, but that breeding time is over. And we're still in it. We're still in it. We can just, just cut it off again. That's the goal. Cut it off again. Come on. Eat the pie. Eat the pie. Look at that. We're over 50%. Uh, there we go. This is this is it. This is the destruction. Oh, right before it breeds, we got basically everything. Yeah, you got nothing left. Whew, I was a little scared of that one. I was a little bit scared. And again, much like the, what we did at the bottom, we're going to do the same at the top. We're going to take this AC breeder zone and just make a nice little safe space, right? Um, take... You know, it's essentially a corner again. Um, again, I don't really like to call it a corner because it does have a wall there. It's not like that's a corner, right? Um, that's that's the that's the good stuff. Um, but we'll take what we can get. We'll take what we can get, and we can definitely get this. Uh, it's a nice. It's a. It has no backing, I guess. So that is nice. And yeah, we're just gonna push into the split breeder, and then I guess we're gonna just connect the two, right? Um, this is about, it's kind of the same. I think the the southern side is a little bit safer because that absorber terrain is a little bit closer. Um, but at the same time, I mean, we're pushing just fine. Just fine. Uh, we got a snaky uh, creeper breeder here. So that's about to breed and be all annoying. But, you know, it doesn't seem to be doing that much to us. I, th I think our the power that we've gained overall is really showing, right? We can just cut through this, even it, that it just bred and we're literally able to just cut it apart. It is glorious. So I definitely want this one. I probably should have gone for the one in the center, um, but that's okay, that's okay. We, we, we got it, you know, again, that creep is uh, breeding over there, but we got this split breeder. That's the one that's important to me because that's the one that's going to be pushing for us, right? So now we can get this split breeder, the little snaky breeder. It can do whatever it wants. I don't care about it. I'm just going for the breeders that are going to be making AC. And that's all I care about because I think once we take basically, oh, we have you right there. I'd rather take the split breeder than the pure AC breeder. Uh, that's for sure because, you know, 
the uh, split breeder takes away creep, while the AC breeder just adds AC, right? So not too bad there. Take that out. Uh, and I think, I mean, this area almost might be self-sufficient at this point. Uh, it does look like they are taking back that split breeder a little bit, a little bit. So we might need to do a little bit of incursion. Um, ooh, and up here too. Look at you. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You are not allowed. You are not allowed. We'll take we'll take the snake apart. Um I was hoping to just leave at this point, but this this is being a little disruptive. Just a little bit. There's the snake going away, and that should be fine. Uh, I guess we'll push into this corner because you know that's not it's generating a fair bit. It's not generating too much, but it's a fair bit. So let's just eliminate it, right? We'll just, just get out of here. Get out of here. You got nothing. All of the AC is breeding. We're fine. All right. All right. So we have the whole left side done. We have this done. We have this done. What is next for us, right? So now we have a bunch of bigger areas, right? We view you, 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 this area down here, this area down here. Now this area is a like 40. <laughs> this area is height in the 20s to 40s, so that is split. Uh, this area is only height 15, so not that bad. Um, but this area is basically all AC breeder, right? Basically all AC breeder. That's pretty good to me. I think we can get this area. Uh, not Maybe not easy, but maybe not too bad. So I'm going to go for this area next. Uh, this area, again, is only height 15, so not too bad. This area gets very high, so I'm going to say this area next, and finally this area for it last. Um, so let's just get our our uh, our butt on the move here. And again, much like before, I want to hug the wall, so I'm not actually going to assault yet. Uh, we're going to come on down all the way to the bottom. Now, they're going to be breeding any second now, so that's you know, the first problem is the breeding will happen. Uh, ideally, they would have just bred, but that's okay. That's okay. We can we can we can deal with this uh, because if we can take this in just two or three seconds, boom, we got a split breeder from them, and we have essentially a corner. Now, this is the worst kind of corner because our backing is absorber terrain, but. It is still a corner, and we are taking away what they are producing, right? So we can keep pushing out this wall. I don't really want to push into the center. I really just want to push out this wall side. Um, and yeah, every time it breeds, again, we get more ground, right? We're actually we actually have more a uh, AC breeder now than we did before. So it's breeding right now, and that's actually helping us more than it is them. So. Take a little bit more ground. Our ultimate goal will be to get to that good corner, right? This is, again, the bad corner because we are on the absorber terrain. Kind of sucks. But, hey, you know, we, we, you got to deal with what you got to deal with. Um, I want this other corner for two reasons. <laughs> more than, like, more than just ground, right? I'd rather have the corner than just taking ground. Uh, I don't want to lose the split breeder. I will say that. I don't want to lose the split breeder. Um, but I think I'm going to focus on getting to the other corner right now. Because, again, if we hold this corner, we're taking two of their breedable zones. And we have two corners. Which is going to be immense, right? So if we can just get this. I am losing a lot of AC ground right here. But this corner is the corner of victory. Because there is no... Uh, no terrain that's going to absorb for us, right? It's only going to absorb creep primarily at this point. And this is just, look at how well this corner pushes comparatively, right? This corner just pushed out on its own. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So we want to still hold the, the breeder here. But this corner is the corner of power. Yes. The corner of power. Look at it spread. Look at it go. It's gorgeous. Um, yeah, I'm feeling feeling pretty good about this. Again, we'll just, we'll just drop it right here just for a second. Hold it while it breeds. Go just... And again, this corner is just spreading because there is now no absorber terrain. Um, in fact, I might even be okay with that bottom right corner being gone because we're taking so much land. So we're just going to give that up to take more land from our good corner. Um, so let's keep it moving. Keep it going. You know what? Let's, let's get surrounded. I'm okay with that. We have five seconds to see if we can make it to this corner. 
Do we have the power? Do we have the fight in us to make it to another corner of destiny? We got a chunk of it. We got a good chunk of it. And look at that. It just clears it all up. Easy days. And yeah, I mean, I, I think we're okay. I think this is basically at the point where it can handle itself. Uh, I'll take a bit more. You know, we'll take this and some of the other. But again, feels pretty good if you ask me. Feels pretty good. Let's take this from, so they are no longer breeding from that. And yeah, we now have more than 50% of the land. We have more than 50%, we have 60% even, of the split breeders here. I don't think they can stand against us, especially because when they breed, uh, a chunk of their, their uh, creep goes into the absorber terrain. Oh, absorber terrain. Um, I'm just going to cut this in half just to sort of seal the deal. Uh, but honestly, we're done. We're done here. We're done here. It's going to solve itself. Let's move on over to the top side. Uh, and this is, this is an awkward one, right? Because again, much like before, we don't want to just assault the top, right? We have no breeder. Bad, right? No breeder bad. Um, so we want to get to the bottom. Honestly, we want to get to the point of the bottom. Um, but any corner will do, right? That first corner directly below the mouse right now, that will do. Uh, it's not ideal, but it'll do. Um, ideally, we'll make it to the bottom. Though. We want to basically take that bottom and work our way up, much like we did from that one corner in the previous area. So again, I don't care if they take stuff back right now. I'm not about the, we're going to hold this life. I'm about the, we're, we're going to our destination life. Uh, and ideally, again, that bottom corner, it's all AC breeder. So once we take it, it's never going to be taken back, right? So like this area, this AC breeder, I mean, maybe we'll take it, try and hold a little bit of it. But again, I don't really care about this AC breeder area uh, yet. Of course, we will care about it. I mean, <laughs> without a doubt. Um, but for now, for now, for now, we don't really care. But we care about this AC breeder area, this this is the zone that we want to control because it's a great, it's, it's like a, a peninsula, you know, it's even better than a corner. It's, it's, it's shielded on multiple sides. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So once we take this, this is where we really want to be. I want this. I want this peninsula. I want it all. You're breeding right now. And guess what? There we go. We've taken it. Awesome. So now all the breeding is hitting that back wall, coming forward, adding more fuel to our fire. And now we just want to push up, right? We want to take the AC breeder. We want to take the split breeder. We basically just want to take it all, right? I mean, now, now we want to push back into this zone. Um, take again, we're just taking what we can at this point. Uh, we're breeding in just a few seconds. Let's try and take some split breeder from them while, while we can. Uh, there we go. We have some good zonage. And if we can push into this, then that's AC Breeder, right? That's AC Breeder for us. Glorious. Oh, it's wonderful. Wonderful. As you can see, we're taking, we're taking more and more of the land. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, now, can we hold? Can we hold it all? Can we keep this pressure? Uh, it's definitely not the easiest, you know, maybe we should have taken one of the other areas first, but I feel like, I feel like we're pretty, doing pretty decent, right? We even have the strength to push into the, uh, actual creeper breeder, so I feel like I'm just trying to make, again, a nice line, right? I don't want to be surrounded, I want to be the one be doing the surround, uh, and this is just getting more breeder for us. It's cutting away breeder for them. It's 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 just good win. It's just good win. Um, and yeah, I mean, we, we we're we're taking quite a lot from them, and we're actually we actually control I think more breedable zones than they do at this point. So it might be that this is sort of a we we got it. We can move on point, right? I mean, we have. 70%, 80% of this area, something around there. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, I do want to take the rest of the breedable zones. Maybe we'll cut this apart a little bit. And then I think we can just let it be, right? I think the, the AC that's here will win out. Uh, I don't think the creep can fight back at that point. Uh, it is fight doing a little bit of fighting. Right, it's taking this back a little bit, so maybe we'll we'll just cut it apart. Right, <laughs> just, just carve it up, carve it up. Mmm, delicious. Yeah, we'll do a little carving over here, 
because we're doing this around now. We have the power, so even though they're breeding, we have the power of fighting them on multiple fronts. And let's move on to the next zone. So again, we have a zone up here, mostly creeper breeder and some split here. Down here, split, split, uh, split, and AC. So I'd rather go for the one that has all the splits and the AC first. Uh, I think that makes sense again. Uh, this will get us the power for the pure uh, creeper side. So yeah, I mean, this, this sounds like a good, good deal to me. Uh, let's just move our butt on in here. Again, our goal, uh, I... Maybe we'll stick to the wall a little bit. Let's go wall action. We have just a few seconds before we breed, though. So if this is a hill and we can take out a fair bit of this, yeah, we got a good chunk. We got a good chunk. We didn't get it all, but we got a good chunk of this breeding. So I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Again. Uh, so now the goal is, as much as I don't think that top side is a corner, we're going to try and hold it. Take this out. We'll lose some ground, but I don't want that behind us, right? I don't want that behind us. Uh, let's see if we can hold this for the next breeding cycle. I'm not going to move. Let it spread naturally. There we go. And then this should allow us to push away, right? We, we're breeding. Buzzing. Come on. Push it out. Push it out. Yeah. All right. All right. That feels pretty good. We can take that to here. Oh, they're actually, they're, they're fighting back pretty hard. It's pretty impressive when you think about it. But that's okay, because we're just going to go over to the other breeder. We could go for the corner one, but that, that's already in absorber terrain. Uh, I'd rather take out the two on the outside, and then we'll go for the inside. Should fall pretty easily after that. And yeah, we, we've taken most of this one for this breeding zone. This should basically clear up the area, and that allows us to get this one, All right? Easy peasy. Ah, uh, glorious. Glorious. See, we can take this out. Super easy now. Uh, there's no creep to worry about. Come on. Take it out super easy, because I want to take that breeder back. There we go. Perfect. 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 No more creep about. And yeah, I mean, this area, again, it is it is high creep. Again, these this is, this is spiky, right? We can see. Very, very tall creep. This is probably the tallest area, taller than these, but again, there's very little breeder here, so I'm not super worried, because we can just we can just wear it down. Um, we have, as you can see, I keep my cursor here, and it goes up to 67 on the AC scale. And that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Plus, I mean, there's a lot of gaps. There's a lot of corners. There's a lot of uh, choke points, so... We're feeling pretty okay, pretty okay. Although that being said, I do not want to be along the outside. We want to be on the inside track. And as tempting as it is to go for the uh, AC breeder, uh, I'm going to let this go. I don't care about getting surrounded. don't care about getting lost. I just care about getting to this corner and getting this split breeder out of the way, right? We want this split breeder gone. So move, move, move. Uh, it is about to breed, and I'd rather it breed for me. There we go. So we took this out. That's one of the two breedable zones gone. And realistically, there's no reinforcements for this now, right? This the corner that they took at the bottom is actually a corner of death for them. <laughs> Just one way to put it. Um, we'll get to this other easy peasy. Come on. Come on, get in there. Breed it up for us, because that's what we do. And then all that's left is, of course, the final split breeder, which we're just going to hug on the edge yet again. Hug, 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 hug. Uh, a nice hug. It's a nice hug. It feels good. So they are breeding, but, I mean, at this point, what's this going to do, right? There's there's nothing that I can do. It's done. It's out of here. This, you're done. So, final zone! Huzzah! We're in the, fi the final stretch, even. Look at this. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, how strong are we now? I mean, look at this. You saw... I mean... Look at our AC spike compared to the creep spike. And that's us just slowly moving. So, we got this easy. 
Holy moly, maybe we should have done this one first because look at how easy we just carve through this. Holy moly. Uh, I'm a fan. I am a fan of just carving through. Honestly, we can probably take out the top side before the bottom side. Because um, I think I think we just do that much AC. It's it's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. We can just go straight along this. They are trying to breed in a minute. Eh, not a minute, five seconds. But we, we completely got through the entire line before they bred. I mean, come on. That's, it's gorgeous. It's wonderful. It's glorious. And let's just go down here. Let's, let's get the split breeders. You know, they're what we want, of course. You know, it'll, it'll take some stuff from them and, and all that good stuff. Um, and normally I would go for the bottom corner, uh, but we are, we are so strong. I think we can just literally push the entire thing now. Like we're not, we're not a little babby uh, cursor anymore. We are big boy cursor coming in with the threats for them. Uh, we're able to literally, like I haven't even touched the center and it is being taken over. That's how, that's how strong we are. Uh, we are just literally pass over things and they get utterly destroyed. Um, very much so. I mean, douche, 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 done. Uh, go into the final zone and realistically again we're probably at the point where we could probably leave this area and it'll get taken because we control two of the three breeders and most of this one now so let's just finish up with a little triangle yes 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 the final triangle Ooh, it feels so very good now again this was supposed to be two hours and 50 something minutes for something wild to happen unfortunately we're doing it in uh, hopefully under 40 minutes at this point not too bad not too bad i don't know i don't know what the average times on this map are but i feel i feel pretty good i, I like the strategy you know i i like how it went i think we did a pretty good job of everything and yeah we're just carving it up Ooh, yeah it feels delicious uh, and that should be that. This should be the end of it. And I think that is Reclaim 100%. Reclaim is charging. And we have taken care of Cursor 19. Relax. Uh, look at look at how strong our Cursor is now. Delegate, go. But look at that. We This has been breeding the entire time. Which was, you know, it, it's a little bit of power. But every power adds up. I wish there was a tiny bit of breeder at the top there. So we could have held that area too. Just for that tiny bit of power. Again, every drop can be the most important drop of your life. You never know. Um, but there we go. Buzzing away it goes. Activate under 40 minutes. It feels pretty good if you ask me. Uh, let's submit that time. So, yeah, not too bad. A lot of 40s, 50s, hours and things. So, oh, there's a lot here. Uh, someone had to be here. I can't. I can't believe it. Come on. Oh... Uh, 34! There we go. Okay, okay, okay. And a 36. There we go. Okay. But only two people, so I feel pretty, pretty good there. Not too shabby at all. This has been Cursor 19 Relax. Um, and yeah, I feel very relaxed. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I liked the uh, different pathways and the go this way, go that way. Did I do it optimally? I don't know. If you have any other suggestions for how to go about it, let me know in the comments below. And uh, leave a like and subscribe. It greatly helps. Thank you so very much. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you next time. Take care.